Punk Patriot, my name is Cody and I live in Los Angeles. Hi Cody! I've been watching your videos for a long time and I just want to say keep it up! Oh, I also have a question. I come from a conservative family and it's frustrating that I can't get them to see that capitalism as an entire system is inherently flawed. Do you have any idea why this concept doesn't seem to reach older generations in the same way it does with younger ones? It's not like they're unintelligent. Anyway, I think you're awesome and I look forward to more videos. Cheers! P.S. Check out my blog at postmoderndionysis at blogspot.com. I think that the reason why older generations don't see the flaws inherent in capitalism is that they came up during the anti-Soviet era. We were all afraid of the Russians and communism, state socialism. Um, but the thing is that during that time period, or at least during like the period of FDR onwards to um, LBJ, that time period we were at our most socialist that we've ever been. We had real citizen control of our democracy in, in many respects. I mean, granted the civil rights movement was happening in the same time period. At the same time, the civil rights movement has been happening since, you know, slaves were first brought to the United States. In many ways, citizen control of our democracy was, was very much realized in that era. The fact that the civil rights movement had successes, I think, is, I think that's really illustrative of how um, much more responsive our government was at that time. During that same time period, we also had people like Goldwater, and then there was the whole like Reagan era. Democrats and Republicans both, from FDR onwards, warned of socialism, and there came to be this false uh, equivalency between democracy and capitalism. And really, capitalism, if you analyze the structure, if it's not a co-op, it's a fascist, you know, organization. And, you know, I don't throw that term around loosely. They are dictatorships. Your boss gets to dictate what you get paid, uh, what hours you work, um, what benefits you get. You essentially have no rights as a citizen of a company that you're working for. I don't know that the older generation is ever going to see that. There are many forms of socialism that we all love and, you know, some we even call heroes, the firefighters and, uh, you know, first responders are all employees of, uh, you know, state socialist organizations. Uh, people who serve on the water board are, are chairs of a socialist organization. You know, water boards are non-profit, socialized public resources where, you know, they manage um, the water supply. And, you know, people get freaked out about the water board and whatever, um, about, oh, they're managing the water supply, maybe they're putting fluoride in it and it's making everybody stupid, which is a whole other tangent. Fluoride in the water doesn't make people stupid. A poor education system makes people stupid. The 24-hour news networks make people stupid. Our consumer culture, which says that uh, we can just consume more stuff and that'll make us happy. That makes people stupid. Fox News makes people stupid. It's not fluoride in the water. I think also older generations grew up in a time where they saw that you could work at a job and you could get ahead. There was a lot more regulation on businesses because the labor movement was so much stronger during that time period. People who were working at businesses had a lot more rights. They had a lot more rights as employees. It used to be possible that you could work at a job and it wouldn't be a dead-end job. You could, act at one point in time, start at an entry-level position and work your way up within the company. And that's just not possible these days. And I think the younger generation, we saw our parents co get completely fucked over by capitalism. You're in my generation. We grew up under NAFTA and under the, the World Trade Organization. Thank you very much, Bill Clinton, for signing those. Thank you very much, Bill Clinton, for shipping all our jobs overseas. Which gets back to my point that the Democrats in America have never really had a true leftist critique of capitalism. They've always been capitalist, but with state welfare, which basically subsidizes the uh, lack of equity in the workplace. But yeah, I mean, you're in my generation, we grew up completely fucked over. Um, our, our parents got fucked over and our parents grew up seeing their parents grow up where it was possible that you could get ahead. And they grew up and they so many still think today that it's possible that they can get ahead. And it's just not that way. You can talk to any sociology professor and they can point you to a million different resources that, that show you statistically that this is true. That America, um, since 1965, movement for employees 
uh, has become increasingly horizontal. Moves in career are horizontal moves rather than vertical moves. People are not moving up people are moving sideways to parallel careers, doing the same thing for the same amount of money. Or they're taking steps down so that they can have uh, more free time to do things that are important to them. This whole Horatio Algers theory that anybody can make it, this rags to riches idea, um, is not true. It was more true in 1965 than it is today. It was more true in 1975 or 85 than it is today, but with each succeeding decade it has become less and less true. So yeah, you know, we grew up seeing it firsthand. Our parents' generation and our grandparents' generation, they're still hanging on to this dream that they grew up with. It's just simply not the case anymore. And you have included a self-addressed stamped envelope and some cool stuff will be on the way. Did you like this video? Please donate what you think it was worth in the link below. Please also be sure to click the like button. If you want to help me continue to produce videos like this one, please become a monthly sustainer over at punkpatriot.com. I make t-shirts.